Hello YouTube world. Today's video has been inspired by Tim. Uh, Tim watched my video on the unboxing of this small drill press and um, he asked a question and it said, I'll show it to you. There we go. Hi, I have one of these and can't do four snippets bigger than three quarters of an inch. They are brand new, but it just stalls. Any idea what's wrong, Tim? Hopefully, I can give a few tips to all of you people out there, and to you, Tim, in order to optimize a small drill press. The first thing you need to do is to adjust the belt. But what we're gonna to do today, we're going to use the Speed 1, 580 RPM. And the only reason for that is I'm going to use quite a big drill bit that I wouldn't usually use in a small drill press like this, but I'm just trying to prove it. With your right hand, put pressure on the motor to slacken off the belt and as you can see it's easy to adjust to the required setting. The next step is to apply pressure on the motor and this will apply tension to the belt. Press the plunger in and then tighten. You should now have a reasonable degree of tension on the drive belt. Instead of three quarters of an inch Tim, we're going for 35 mil, which is approximately an inch and a half. Once the bit is placed in the chuck, make sure that you tighten all three points on the chuck key to make sure he's not going anywhere. To give this a proper test we've got a reasonably substantial piece of roofing timber. Now to stop our work moving around we need to clamp it down. making sure that not only the clamps are tight, but they're also not in the way of the pull down lever. Please remember that because this is a small light drill, when you go to switch it on, it will move around. So what you need to do is put your hand on the opposite side when you go to push the switch. Just to recap, we put this on the slowest speed, we tighten the belt, we've tightened the chuck, we've also clamped down our work with clamps to remove any movement and optimise performance. It's time to drill.
So there you have it, Tim. It is portable to use an inch and a half bit without it actually stalling. I wouldn't usually use a bit this big. This was just to prove a point.